Hey girls and boys, today I'm going to read this story to you. It's called The Cautious Caterpillar. Hey, there's some alliteration. K, K. They sound the same. Both start with the K sound. The Cautious Caterpillar. Do you know what that word cautious means? Well, I think the root word, the base word that it comes from is caution. Have you ever seen a sign that says caution? I think that's usually telling you to be careful. So this caterpillar is very careful in what he or she does. I wonder why she's so careful. Let's have a read and find out, shall we? Here we go. Ah, oh, that's lovely. What a beautiful page. The Cautious Caterpillar. <clears throat> it was springtime in the garden. Cody the caterpillar hatched from her egg and crawled onto a big green leaf. She smiled happily. I love being a caterpillar, she said, and began to eat her tasty leaf. Just then, a ladybird flew, up, flew on over. You're very lucky, said the ladybird. <clears throat> when you become a butterfly, you will have wings, like me. Flying looks very tiring, said Cody. I wish I could stay as a caterpillar forever. Don't worry, said the ladybird. Having wings is great. You can always stop for a rest. Cody smiled, but didn't feel sure. Maybe one day, she said. She carried on eating and the ladybird flew away. Hmm, I've never thought about that. Imagine if you're a caterpillar and one day you're going to change completely into a butterfly. The next day, a bee buzzed on over. You're very lucky, said the bee. When you become a butterfly, you will sip nectar, like me. I don't think I'll like nectar, said Cody. I wish I could stay as a caterpillar forever. And she's got a face that's saying, Ugh, yuck, yuck, nectar. Don't worry, said the bee, drinking nectar is great. It is ever so yummy. Cody smiled, but didn't feel sure. Maybe one day, she said. She carried on eating and the bee buzzed away. Bzzz. A few days later, a grasshopper jumped on over. You're very lucky, said the grasshopper. When you become a butterfly, you will have six legs, like me. But I like having sixteen legs, said Cody. I wish I could stay as a caterpillar forever. Don't worry, said the grasshopper. Having six legs is great. That's plenty for landing on the ground. Cody smiled, but didn't feel sure. Maybe one day, she said. She carried on eating, and the grasshopper jumped away. Oh, I think I get it now. I know why she's so cautious. She's used to being the same. She doesn't want to change. She's very worried about changing, but sometimes, we, as we know, changing is good. Let's see what happens here. I'll move my little camera screen. The next day, Cody was full. She thought about everything her friends had told her and decided to be brave. Yes. This one, the ladybird's telling her having wings is great. This one, she's thinking about having, being able to sip nectar like the bee told her. This one, she's thinking about having legs, six legs like the grasshopper told her. Maybe today, she said, as she changed herself into a chrysalis.
There's the chrysalis. Another word is a cocoon, isn't it? She stayed like that for many days until she was finally ready to leave her chrysalis and become a butterfly. Hooray! Cody explored the garden, feeling happy and proud of her new wings. Having wings is great, she said as she flew past the ladybird. This is yummy, she said to the bee as they sipped nectar together. Six legs is plenty, said Cody as she landed next to the grasshopper. That evening, she came across a caterpillar eating a tasty leaf. You're very lucky, said Cody. When you have finished eating, you will become a butterfly like me. She's realised that it was actually really fantastic once she changed. The caterpillar smiled but didn't look sure. I wish I could stay as a caterpillar forever, he said. Don't worry, said Cody. I love being a caterpillar too, but trust me. Being a butterfly is great. And that's the end. I really like that story. I think the moral or the lesson of that story is that sometimes things that we think are a bit scary or when we have to make a change in our lives, it's going to be a bit tough. We might get a little bit worried, but I think the reason, or I think you don't need to worry because as the butterfly found out that sometimes when we change, it's still fun. It reminds me of when I was a little boy and I didn't want to go to school. I just wanted to stay at home with mum all the time. I was a bit scared. But when I went to school, I realised being at school was so fun. There's so many friends to play with, so many nice teachers. So I had a fantastic time, just like the butterfly. I hope you enjoyed that story, girls and boys. Hope you're having a wonderful day. See you later. Bye. Bye. Woo-hoo-hoo.